Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a minute, but uh, here we are. Um, so this time I'm going to walk you guys through real quick how to do this kind of MRI effect that you see in the new Hublot ad done by Tendril. Uh, the watch ad, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. They did a phenomenal job. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to, how to do this. It's just a simple plane and basically a plane and a shader. That's all it is. It's very, very simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we're going to work with this watch model here. Oh, and it's, there we go. Um, it works best with highly complex geo. So the more things you have in it, the better. Um, it just shows off the effect a lot better. So let's go ahead and create the material for, for the actual object. Um, which is very, very simple. It's literally just a black material. So let's we'll call this black and apply that to the watch. And I'm going to do this all under the scene node um, or scene null, uh, just so I can easily add new objects in there if I wanted to. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and go to your standard material. And we're just going to make this black. So it's just a black basic material nothing else changes that's all you got to do uh, let's go ahead and throw in a dome light real quick just so we can see what's going on so yeah very basic nothing nothing crazy at all so let's go ahead and make the actual mr effect so let's grab a plane and we'll just scale that down just enough to fill the camera and then this is all done with a subsurface material. So we'll just call this MRI and apply that to the plane. Let's go ahead and open this up. And so we want to go leave all this the same. We're going to go ahead and just up the roughness just a tiny, tiny bit to 0.3. Obviously, that's all you can play with that. Do whatever you want. And let's go ahead and open up the subsurface and set the weight to 1. Then, one thing is you can't use subsurface on just a flat plane because like, there's nothing to actually reflect or refract inside of that. So real quick, let's go and create a thicken. So just shift C and type in thicken. Add that, and we will drag the plane underneath thicken. That's going to be way too thick at 10 centimeters. We're going to just drop that down to 0 0.001. Just so it's still very, very thin, but it does have some some thickness to it. And you can see that if we zoom in here, it just has a little bit of thickness in there, just enough that this effect will work. So we can go ahead and just move this up and down. You can kind of see how we're going to get that effect just by this clipping through. But the only problem is we still see the geometry on the top and the bottom, which we do not want. So what we'll do is we'll go to our object, in this case the uh, the watch internals. We'll right click and go to render tags, RS object, and turn on. Go to your visibility tab, turn on override, and uncheck primary ray visible, and that will allow us to basically use this plane as a clipping mask, so that we can cut the model out. We don't actually see the the physical geometry. So once we have that done, we'll notice that it's very, very dark. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add a area light. And I always try to scale these down to be roughly the size of the object, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm just kind of push this off to the side. Um, and then one thing we need to do, because it's still very dark in here, it's not really affecting anything, is go back to our object tag and turn off receive shadows. So once we do that, you can really start see start seeing the other, that effect in there. Um, let's go back to the area light and we are right now casting light onto the actual uh, plane itself. We do not want that so we'll go to our project tag and exclude the thicken. Let's actually just name this MRI plane. So exclude that and then now we have our effect here. So what we want to do now is, I, this is all personal preference for this, but I like to uh, go to shape and the lights and drop that down a little bit just to get those those lines a little bit more pronounced. And go ahead and do a test render. Okay, so yeah, you can really start seeing that effect popping in. Um, I'm not 
not a huge fan of how how much it's kind of reflecting off internals there. So let's go ahead and drop this down to like, I don't know, 10. Try that. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. There you go. So now it's a very subtle effect. You can still you get all the detail in there a lot better. And if we go ahead and just drag this, turn off bucket mode, drag this plane up through here. Now you can see it's changing, clipping through all of that. And you get to see all the little details. You can see the numbers. Um, those numbers are, are popping through. Looks really cool. So what you can do with this, and then if you change the uh, colors of the lights, you can adjust the, the colors of just the outlines in there because um, we're not projecting onto the actual plane itself. We're just projecting onto the geometry. So you can adjust that and do some really cool color stuff with that. Um, if you go into your black material, the one that we have on our main model, actually let's go ahead and drag this material tag up, or uh, object tag up, so it's above that. Uh, so if we go into our standard material for the actual object, you can increase and decrease the brightness of the internals just by adjusting the roughness. So if we go high roughness, it gets really dark. If we go lower enough roughness, it gets lighter. So that's just something to think about. You can you can tweak that to, to however you like. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's really it. It's not not super complicated. Um, you can get some really really cool looks by just throwing camera on here. Let's go turn on. Let's go. I don't know. One fifty. Oh. One fifty. Let's just get some compression in there. Turn on your bokeh. This is a handy little tip. If you turn on that, you come up to here, this little uh, square icon right there, you can use this to be your focus picker inside of the render view. It makes it a lot easier to find focus. Um, yeah, so you can start playing around with kind of getting some cool, cool looks with that. Um, if we go ahead and turn off our dome light, you can get the effect that they actually have in the, the trailer where it's all black. Ooh. Sometimes if you get this weird red, just go ahead and refresh your viewport or your uh, render view and it'll fix that but now we can get that really cool black and white kind of MRI MRI effect in there and then so we can just test this with some other objects and let's go ahead and scale this up there we go and we'll drag our model down into our scene since we have these two there, go ahead and hide the watch object. Now if we turn on our render view, seconds, and grab our plane and drag it up through the model, maybe? It's a little bit too high. Yeah, there we go. Model's way too high. There we go. So now if we grab this, let's go ahead and turn our uh, bokeh off. Go. Our plane. So yeah, now you can get that that same effect that I had in that little intro video. Where you get the really cool look of everything. You can obviously adjust where the uh, where your lighting is coming from to fix some of that. And then if you're not a huge fan of how you're getting this kind of glow coming off of it. You can very easily fix that by just scaling the light down um, and just making it basically the same thickness as the plane. So if we go ahead and drag this up here, just put that right on the top. And then there we go. So you can set the size of it to 0.1, and then you lose that glow, and you just get a very, very clean look to it. And same thing, duplicate this, if you hold down control, rotate, do that, and then bring this back in here. Then you get some really cool, really cool effects in there. And then obviously you can go in and play with color and all that kind of stuff and tweak it to however you want some cool like retro retro scan effects in there and like i said this will work with any any geometry um you want to make sure that you remove all 
all materials. So there's no materials on the actual object itself. You want just that plain black black material in there for this to work correctly. You can do it with materials. It just doesn't look right. Um, so I'd recommend having just the uh, just that one one black on there. So yeah, if you guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this, go ahead and uh, leave a like, with follow, appreciate it. Um, I will have the C4D uh, file for the Patreon subscribers um, so you guys can get this and just start working on this straight away. So yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you.